Enso is a miniature universe. Soko symbolizes the harmony and also symbolizes a void. So it has a multiple meaning in that little circle. Enso is a word made up of two kanji, and the first one, en, is the literally means circle. And then so is the, you know, the expression or shape or form or characteristic. So it's a characteristic of circle. I've seen that symbol since I was a child. So it's a, like a, for me, it's a no brainer. It's a simplicity and then it has a full of meaning. And so that's why I chose, I've chosen that shape as a, my unit. One of my professors suggested that I look up the works of John Cage, and he was a composer, and he used random numbers to create his work. So I thought I could do something similar. So I started out in flipping coins, but I'm not the good flipper. So, and I, also, the flipping coin only gives me two results, either head or tail. Then I switch to the dice, because the dice comes with different colors, then also one through six. So it's more variation. I made this sheet to illustrate the formula that I use. First, I arbitrarily choose three colors of dice. The white will control the color of ink that I will use. If I roll an odd number, I will use black ink. If I roll an even number, I will use vermilion ink. The blue dice will control the starting point of my ensor. If it's an odd number, I will start from the top. If it's an even number, I will start from the bottom. The red dice will decide the rotation of my ensor. For an odd number, I will paint in a clockwise direction. For an even number, I will paint counterclockwise. After I roll the dice, I try to keep the colors in a consistent order of white, blue, and red. I line up the dice, then I'll move the odd numbers forward and leave the even numbers back. I then record the numbers as well as the pattern. The last stage of this process is taking my numeric visual patterns and matching them to the corresponding ensor shape. I then record each ensor shape, its shape, color, and if it's clockwise or counterclockwise. After I record all of my results, I'm ready to do my calligraphy. There is no such a thing as a perfect ensor. And you can aim for the perfection, but you never achieve it. I could see this chance operation is uh, like an analogy for real life. And then even, you know, what I do is simple, it's so cool, but you can put a lot of meanings in it. There are so many chances that you had to choose or somebody chose for you. Everybody's unique, everybody's life is different, 
and then you may have a good time and bad time. And some die young, some live a long life. I feel why we live this life, that is, it's like a, I am searching the meaning of life, but just like a, there is no perfect answer, and then I probably don't find the perfect meaning. The process of searching, thinking what the meaning of life is the meaning of life. You know, so you have something, but unless you attach the meaning to that object, maybe that object does not exist as such. So I continue to do this chance operations just like I continue to search the meaning of life.